Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I want to talk to you about using a disto, not just this one, any kind of disto with Xactimate. A year ago, I tried to use this. I installed, you know, I uh, paired it with my laptop. Uh, I was able to use it with my iPad and, you know, I could use this with Symbility on, a desk, on my laptop, but I couldn't get it to work on my uh, laptop. I call Xactimate, and this was about a year ago. They're like, well, yeah, it'll work on your iPad, but that won't work on your uh, uh, laptop. I said, okay, no problem. I thought they knew what they were talking about. Things went on, and I, I tried it a few times. I could never get it to work. So, you know, I paired it. So uh, basically, I, I went to uh, my Bluetooth, uh, you know, <clears throat> settings, and uh, uh, I went and went in and uh, actually Bluetooth devices. I had paired it. You see, it's paired. So I would go to my Xactimate. Now, I didn't know that whenever you're using Disto, it has to be um, set up on your profiles. And you can have a bunch of different profiles. So every profile has to be set up. So, you know, basically you go to your control panel, you go to preferences, then you would go into the different kinds of profiles. I have a bunch of them. So I'm going to just keep, uh, just use Liberty Mutual, for instance. And if you go to your sketch and you'll see Disto Laser uh, Distance Meter, and it has to be enabled. So I, uh, so I had, what did I do that for? Um, Okay, so uh, let me open up. This is just going to be just any generic uh, claim. Actually, it's just a file I created for training purposes. So, <clears throat> so you know, you go in there, you pair it, you set up your prof uh, preference, then you open up a file, and when you know you have it paired and you have it set, you're going to get this little dialog box on the upper right hand corner when you go into your uh you know your sketch and under your tools see right in this corner see it appears that that is your disto icon i mean all it is is a, 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 a bluetooth but you know if you would go in here and you click here you turn on your disto you see how nothing happens that's because you have to have a software installed in your computer in order for this to work on a desktop or a laptop. I got a hold of a good, smart technician. So, so he told me, well, do you have it installed? I'm like, no, sir, I didn't know it was supposed to be installed. He gave me a link. Where, well, he didn't give me the link. He said, just go to Disto, and there's going to be uh, – there's going to be a um, – a link so I went and found the link and I'll share this link with y'all so here I have a um, shortcut <clears throat> so this is the link that you have to go for your disto devices on a laptop here it is right here okay uh, let me see if I have a mm, uh, turn, let, let me do something real quick here for you that way you can see it. Um, I got a Word document I created for you. I'm going to enlarge it a little bit so that you can. Um, okay, so that is the web page to Disto, going directly to Disto. And I'll copy and paste this and put it on my uh my youtube video uh, you'll see it at the bottom okay so <clears throat> so then what you would do uh, like i said you know this is the web uh this is the web page here you're going to install this one here there's a lot of stuff you can install this is the one you're looking for it says disto transfer software okay this other one does other things we're talking about this one right now
So, so basically, you're gonna get this, and it's gonna download. Uh, uh, you have to navigate. Tell it where you want that folder to to go to. Right here. You know what? For for right now, I don't think it's gonna. Let, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna put a shortcut right here so that because uh, I got it in a folder, and for training purposes, I want to be able to go right to it right away. Okay, so. Basically, what's going to happen is you're going to get this zip file. When you're going to tell it where it's going to go when you're telling it to uh, uh, upload or download. Okay. So the best thing to do is put it in a folder that you're going to know. Now you're going to have to unzip it. Okay. So you know you would create a new folder. Then you double click on that folder. You select those and copy it to that folder, which is a folder that I have right here. Look. See right here. Okay. So then, once you get that, you're gonna have those two items. One of them is a PowerPoint, and one is an EXE file. The EXE file is the installation for this software that you have to have. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch this PowerPoint to explain what I'm doing. Okay? Because that PowerPoint tells you what to do. So this soft, uh, uh, this PowerPoint can be a little uh, hard to understand because there's so much stuff here. Okay, this distos do a bunch of different things, and if you just want the basic part of this disto, this is all I use it for. Okay, so it explains that this is a quick start guide. It's going to give you the contents, then it's going to tell you how to install it. So if we go to, you know, you would have this somewhere in your uh, um, desktop or in a folder, then you're going to click this installation. Okay, once it launches, once it launches, then, uh, you know, a dialog box is going to come up and you're going to pick English. Then another dialog box will come up. You just hit you know, it says welcome to Disto 6.4 or whichever one you're installing. You hit next. Then you're going to get another dialog box and then you're going to tell it finish. Now, once it does that, it's possible on mine that another dialog box came up. And this is the dialog box that came up. And it wants to know what language you want it. Definitely want to pick English, unless if you're Hispanic or Japanese or whatever, you know, make sure you pick English and you hit OK. Now, at that point, your distro is installing your soft in your, uh, lap, uh, your laptop, desktop, whatever you're using. OK, this page number five is just telling you all the devices and all of them work with it. OK, so now. Uh, page number six is going to tell you how to, uh, you know, pair your device with your laptop, okay? And uh, I don't have a lot of time to show you all of that because I'm uh, I'm in the process of uh, trying to get my uh, level three certification, and uh, so. But I did. This is so important that I didn't want to stop just to show y'all, okay? Because I had the problem, and nobody could help me. Okay, so. Um, this is if you want if uh, some of these devices have Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth. Wi-Fi is better because Wi-Fi, man, you could be in a ten-story house and you could use your device. Well, with a Bluetooth, you you know, if you got ten stores, you're gonna lose it. Not with a Wi-Fi, but this one's uh, Bluetooth. So then, so. Once you launch this software, the first thing that's going to show up is this little box right here. Okay, and let me launch my uh, my uh, software. Okay, so this is the software. Now, I had a lot of problem. I, yeah, probably because I'm I don't know. I don't read. I read too fast. <laughs> but anyway, but. So when I kept, uh, I finally got it to work. There was a lot of things I had to do. So uh, 
you know, so, and I'm going to show you those things, but uh, when I would click and I would click and it would show up as millimeters. And I said, 2.2. I said, no, that's seven. Anyway, so I figured out, you know, by reading that you see this, this thing uh, here, let me, the way you can tell that this is nothing but, okay. So this is the program. Okay, so right in here, you see right here, it has a pull down. It was set to M for millimeters. Okay, so uh, you wanted to say yard, feet, inch. Okay, so just, it, it'll look just like that. Make sure that it's like that, otherwise you're going to have problems. Okay, now... Another problem I was having is, you know, uh, you see right here, you, you go into settings. Once you go into settings, I didn't know how to get back to that one dialog box. So I'm going to show you a little trick. Normally, this thing is going to close the, the, uh, the, you know, the, the software, right? Or, or, or put it down here, right? But if you click on it, all of a sudden, you'll get that thing back. Okay, so that's how you go back and forth to your uh, setup. You just click on that button. It's going to go back to this. Okay, so let's go to our settings real quick. So let's go to settings. Uh, and your PowerPoint is going to explain uh, about your settings. You know, uh, like I said, it tells you right here to make sure that you have it in feet or well, actually, you see, I, it says M, so I thought that's what I was supposed to set it. That's not what you want to set it. You want to set it at inches. That This is why this thing kept on giving me a, a problem. It didn't tell me to change this to uh, inches. Okay. Uh, so we go there. Make sure you set that. Then uh, <clears throat> that's just telling, you know, what device it is. Uh, that's in case you installed it twice and then you can remove one of them, but hopefully you don't do that. Uh, then here's your settings. Make sure that this is selected and you see right here, make sure that it says distance because you can change the format. You don't want to do that. Okay. You want to make sure it says distance, number, number, distance, underscore unit. Okay, so uh, so there it is. You see, distance, number, number, distance, underscore, units, and make sure this is selected. Because if it's not, it's not going to work. It's, you know, this is one of my problems. I've tried a bunch of different things. Uh, I was too, too big of a hurry. Uh, there, you don't have to worry about nothing there in your settings. One thing you want to do is make sure, you see this imperial format? you got to pick feet, inches. I mean, you can set it here, but and that other, you know, you can set it all you want here, but on the other first uh, dialog box that I was telling you, that's another place you're going to have to see it, uh, set it. So make sure that's set. Cause look, this has pull downs. Make sure it says feet into one eighth of an inch. Okay. So, uh, and this is just telling you, you know, about the units and everything. So once you do that, then you're good to go. But I'm going to make sure you understand that this software has to be open in order for it to work. And let me show you real quick. So now we don't need this uh, PowerPoint. You're going to have it. So let's go to Xactimate. Uh, I, I'm going to – let me see if I have that thing turned off. Yeah, it, uh, I don't need that no more. Let's see what else I got on. Uh, those are just my settings. Okay, yeah, so it's not on. Okay, so I got exact to make. I am clicking, dragging. Now I want to change this. I want to use my disto. It's not going to work because I don't have it on. I just want to show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I go in. See, it's not doing nothing, right? Because I don't have the disto on. So if I go into my disto and I turn it on, 
you know. Uh, so look, watch this. So if I click here, look at this little number right here. See, you know it's working. And not just that, but look, you see an Xactimate? It changed it. Oh, no, no, it didn't, because I don't have that Xactimate selected. Sorry about that. But you see, that's 7 feet 10 inches, 11 30 seconds of an inch. They said one quarter, close enough. Got, well, it's the same thing. Uh, anyway, so now we go to Xactimate, click, select the measurement you want to change. So you click, you hear it, bam change hit enter okay click let's say i want to do this uh, this click you heard it you change hit enter that's how easy it is man this is great i love using distals um i mean you can get a room done real real quick anyway guys that is it if you ever have questions about civility or Xactimate, I got about 71 videos out there that explains a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, in, in those videos, I uh, <clears throat> uh, you can email me at Hector Mendoza 0219 at um, yahoo.com. Here, here it is right here, you see? H E C T O R M E N D O Z A 0219 at yahoo.com. And you can email me and I'll uh, I'll write you back. And you can even ask me for my phone number at that point. I'll, I'll give it to you. And I teach a lot of adjusters and contractors uh, a lot of different cool stuff and exactimate. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you on the next one.